What's up guys, my name is ESO and today I am going to be showing you a pretty well hidden shelter. I found this back when I first started playing the game and I remember it taking me ages to find it. I don't know if I was just being stupid but I just want to share it with you guys because I think it's a pretty cool hidden place. While it's not very big, I think the story is pretty cool. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone help us. We're stuck in an old bunker next to the river. Those things are crawling around up there. We're trapped. If you can hear this, just kill those things and get us out of here. Please, we're running out of food. I'll give you whatever you want. So to get to this location, we're going to need to come just here on the map. It's near one of the relay towers and that's how we're going to locate where this shelter is. So before we just run headlong into this tower, I want to kind of scout out the location because obviously we are on survival difficulty and it does not bode well to just run into these things without knowing what's about. Okay, let's have a look where they are. There's one there, take up this. Oh god, I've fucking missed. Oh shit. Okay, one down. He did not die to one shot from a 50 cal. Are you kidding me? How did this guy survive that? Right, another one. Right, he can't see me yet, so sneak attack. Yep, thank you very much. That was close. He was getting close to me there. I didn't want all that radiation damage. Especially in this radiation storm. Okay, so this is the tower, of course. And we're going to extend it now so we can actually pick up the radio frequencies that we require. So extend. Extenderino. Alright, please stand back. I think I pressed that like seven times. There was no need for that for madness. And we should get the radio frequency any moment now. There we go. And we're interested in the green briar radio fre frequency. So let's go to our radio and we will pick up that. Now if you listen carefully you can kind of hear very faint voices. And now the way this radio frequency works, if you didn't know, is if you walk towards where the location is, you'll hear that some voices start to get a bit clearer on the radio. Whereas if you walk away, you might even lose the radio frequency, but the voices will get less distinct. So it's kind of like a hot and cold sort of thing. We know we're walking in the right direction because the voices are getting clearer. So let's keep going in this direction and soon you'll start to uncover bits of words that will maybe give you clues as to where the location is. Of course I already know, so I'm just talking over it. I... But it sounds like somebody's panicking for sure. I'll show you where the actual location is on the map when we get there. But you can hear him talking about a river and if you look on the map there's actually a river just here and that leads all the way into the sea. So where we're actually going is just here. Just around here and once you're here you'll find fucking hell what the fuck is there's actually a murder queen over there. Oh my god. Someone's shooting at her though. Who's that? There's super mutants down here having a war with the Merlot Queen. That Merlot Queen doesn't even care. It's just sitting there tanking out the damage like a boss. Oh, it is actually taking quite a bit of damage. Now it's, it's angry now though. Oh my god, it's going to wreck them. Oh, those super mutants. Oh, actually not even taking that much damage. Okay, I'm going to help out the Murloc Queen here. Take a headshot there. See if I can help him out. I think Super Mutants are weak to leg shots, so let's shoot him in the leg. They always seem to have less armor on their legs, whereas they just tank ballistic damage when you shoot them in the head. But they shouldn't be able to see me very well from up here. There's actually so many Murlocs around. 
And if you listen carefully in the radio broadcast, they actually mention about all these sort of creatures moving around and how they can hear them. Okay, so that super mutant's almost dead now. Can't even see where the super mutant is, to be honest. I think it's dead. Right, let's take out the Murloc Queen from here, from a safe distance. Ooh, that was close. Right, I I don't know if there's any Maya lurks, so I'm gonna get my shotgun out because I'm sure I saw some baby ones running around, and I absolutely hate those. So, bloody hell, here they are. Take those guys out. Oh shit, that super mutant is still alive. He's just up here. Let's take him out. He can't see me, so I'm going to try and get closer with this shotgun. Which is always a dodgy thing to do with super mutants, but I think I should be able to wreck this guy. Oh my days, I do no damage to him. Fucking hell, he's a fucking tank. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He's actually... Am I going to be able to kill him? The weapon for situations like this where you just have to... Oh, I have no ammo for it. I have no... Oh my god, this is not good. This is not good. I was not prepared for this. Ah, oh, man. There used to be a bug where radiation weapons used to work. Almost dead. These guys are just absolute tanks, though. Right. He's finally dead. Sledgehammer. Right, I'm going to turn off the radio frequency now. And we can, I mean, you've heard it at the start of the video, so you know what he was talking about. Basically, let me show you on the map again, because a lot of things have happened since then. This is the radio tower, just here. We are now just here, and we're looking at a campsite near the river. So this is the campsite, and I'm guessing this is where the settlers that used the radio would have um, been held up. So let's see what's inside this over here God. and they they do mention a secret bunker so the bunker is very hard to find I'm not gonna lie to you when I previously did do the video it was um, pretty took me about half hour to actually find out where the bunker is scouring this whole area but, I mean we're looking at the bunker right now you you might have seen it already, you may not have, if you've been observant. Maybe if we come a bit closer, maybe you can see it now. Can you see it? Maybe? The bunker's just here. It's pretty damn well hidden, I'm not going to lie. I mean, if you, like I said at the start, if you did pause the video and try and find it yourself, it's bloody hard to find. It took me a while. And I mean, I am quite observant for these things, but I, I walked over that so many times. So we've got some a suitcase full of lots of interesting loot. And we've got some more food in these coolers. And there's also lots of cans, and I guess all these cans was because they ran out of food and they were hiding from the Mylurks. They probably didn't dare go outside and face them, so they just died inside the bunker. And they were broadcasting for help, clearly. And we can turn this ham radio off now, we don't need it anymore. And that's going to complete the broadcast. There's obviously a toilet down here. It's a pretty sick little safe house to be honest, especially for survival mode. But quite a lot of first aid, and you'll probably need it after the My Alert Queen. Now this short hunting rifle, this is always a random hunting rifle and there's always some hunting rounds for it as well so grab those. But um, it's a good place to get a random hunting rifle at the start of the game. Sometimes it has a night vision scope on, sometimes it doesn't. You can reload if you save back there if you're not in survival mode and then you reload that save and you can get whatever hunting rifle you want usually. Anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed this hidden gem of a story. I for one thought it was a really obscure and well hidden location that I thought was really worth my time sharing it with you. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like so I know to do more like it. And actually I previously did a hidden drug lab video which is very similar, which is very similar to this location and it's also got a unique little story behind it and you can get a rare drug there which gives plus one to all of your special attributes. So 
if you're interested in that video, do check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. My name is ESO, and I will see you, loyal subscribers, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye, and I hope you have a fantastic day.